texture. I was always kind of like, oh, come on, get up, or I almost feel like I was really inconveniencing the patient to do that. My pearl is if you want to test patient's effort to be well, say, sir, I need you to lean forward so I can listen to your back. And don't do anything. Don't help them. Not for five seconds, not for 10 seconds. I don't care how sick they are. You say, sir, sit up for me so I can listen to your back, even if they're really sick. And just watch their effort to sit up. Because you'll see some people who are really, really sick, but they're going to sit up. You'll see some people who are, oh, baby, I can help me. Come help me, baby. I can't sit. And those kind of floundering. And in your mind, you can say, boy, okay, it, it gives you a gauge of the person's will to be well. That is a pearl. Any patient who presents with pulmonary symptoms, you do not want to make a horrid mistake and miss something. You have to ask, could it be their heart? Could it be an obstructive pathology? Could it be reactive? Could it be infectious? Or could it be death or something that's going to cause them to die if I don't think about it? So anybody who presents with any pulmonary symptoms, if you apply this mnemonic, I swear by it. There's no exceptions to it. You will be right. You will be right on par with the third year ER residents. Someone comes in with cough. Hey, could it be their heart? Could it be obstruction, reactive infection, or death? Let's break that down. Lung sounds in general. We have three major lung sounds, and I know this is very basic. If you have gooky noises, if you have tubular bronchi, that just means you have gook in the big airways, okay? If you have rails, that suggests fluid down by the alveolar area. That's rubbing your hair together or crackles. They mean the same thing. It suggests fluid at the alveolar level, pneumonia or CHF. And if you have wheezing, that means the lungs are clamped down. The common saying in asthma or wheezing is all that wheezes is not asthma, and asthma doesn't always wheeze. Sure, that is true, but when I hear wheezing, in my mind, I think this is a reactive problem, okay? And when I hear reactive or when I hear wheezing, I'm thinking nebs, I'm thinking steroids. Okay, let's keep. Initial generalized management of pulmonary patients. When I started working as a hospitalist PA and I was covering the telemetry floor, I got good at cardiac problems. Okay, any arrhythmia, I got good at it. I became confident and masterful at cardiac presentations. And then covering the telemetry floor uh, was easy. When I covered the pulmonary floor, I found I messed up often. 